What's going on boys and girls, my name is VK, welcome to a brand new exciting tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to be taking a look on a brand new Adobe After Effects feature just released in the spring 2019 update and it's so, so much fun what has been finally added to the video creation toolkit. And I'm talking about the content aware fill tool. And if you don't know what the content aware fill tool, it's um it's originated from Photoshop. And if you still don't know what it is, let me show you a really quick demonstration showing you what the content aware fill does. So inside of Photoshop, you would have the opportunity to make a selection. For example, let's select this little poster at the wall here. And then what we're gonna do is right click, go to fill, and then use the content aware fill here. And when I click OK. It magically just takes away everything in that selection by looking everything which is around it. I can do the same thing here. Right click, fill, content aware, fill. And it would just like, with magic, it would fill out something in the scene, w realistically what it, what's around it. And this is super awesome when it has been uh, used in still images. But now in the newest update, this feature has come to After Effects in video form. So you can t uh, remove objects from your footage, like content aware, like magic, and that's super bonkers. Alright, so why should you care about this? If you are a VFX creator like me out there in the wild, doing clean plates and doing stuff out there, this is huge. Because now you would have the opportunity to just select an object. Let's say I have this drone shot and I see this truck in the background and I don't want it there. So I can, without doing advanced mac trackings and these kind of uh, more advanced techniques, I could just select it and make After Effects make it vanish. And that's super cool, and it can be used in a wide variety of settings. Okay, let's see how we can start creating this stuff, and let's let's take this truck out of the scene, shall we? All right, so now let's go ahead and demonstrate how this works inside Adobe After Effects. So what you need to begin with is to have the Content Aware Fill panel opened up on your project. If you don't see this, you can go up to Window and select Content Aware Fill, and it will pop up somewhere around your workspace. So the thing what we're going to do now is to make a selection out about, about an object we want to disappear. So I wanted to take this truck away from this scene. It's pretty small into the frame, but it gets the point through. Okay, let's zoom in here so we can see our truck here. So there's multiple ways how content aware fill works with After Effects, or basically how you can mask in several ways inside After Effects. You can use the masking tool, like the pen tool, which I'm gonna use here. So I'm just gonna take a like a pen tool and mask around the truck here, like this. Hit M on my keyboard to go to the mask properties and, and, so, and make it a subtract layer like this. Then you can use keying. So if you're using a green screening, that's a great opportunity to, without clean plates, creating backgrounds. And then you can use rotoscoping. There's multiple ways how to create transparency and then fill it in with Content aware field, it's not just masking with the pen tool. So that's super cool. So this is the step one of three steps. The second step, if you see if I hit play, this mask is just as you know hovering around here. It's not following the truck. So the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and manually uh, do the mask path option. So I'm gonna just animate mask path thing here and selecting this this mask like this, going forward in time and following the truck here, just like this. So now I have just a super basic, uh, like a mask following the truck inside the scene. I a bit scaled it down also a bit when the truck was minimized. So this is basically how you start with this project. The next thing you wanna do is having the content aware fill here on the right side, then just click generate fill layer. And that's it. Now you're just gonna wait a little about. You can see it starts analyzing the clip, starts rendering out the, the still frame. So now this is a great chance for you to get, get a cup of coffee. And then just let's come back when it has done its thing. And when it's done, watching this back, it's we can see it's far from perfect, but it's so, so good. It looks so, so impressive how this little thing we just did with a couple clicks makes something go away just this easily. 
And and I, I want to throw it out there that this is not like the perfect use scenario in this. Of, of course, this is a good example, but this was a just release feature. And I, I believe that in future updates, this will be improved upon and this will be something super, super, super great. And I just want to show you the potential of this. And I want you to go out there, play with this and try to do some really cool stuff. Link me, for example, some of your videos in the comment section down below this and show me what you have done with this. And um, I really want to go play with using chroma keying, for example, to use with this kind of software. This is really cool. And hey, that was pretty much it for this demonstration and video. Hope you guys did learn something new out of this. Uh, you definitely should have. And my name is VK. Hope you guys I can see you in the next video. Please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already that will be much appreciated comment down below anything you thought of this video give me a like and i'll see you guys in the next video tutorial my name is vk see you guys in the next one